in discipleship process is what I call a spiritual oversight over your life. There must be somebody who is supervising your growth for you. Your pastor, your chaplain, your, your group leader, your disciple. Somebody who is helping you to follow through that process. Discipleship actually succeeds when there is an accountability relationship. Men, who can hold you responsible? Men, who can ask you questions? How's your devotional life doing? How's your prayer life doing? The truth of the matter is that none of us are perfect enough to superintend over our lives. The truth of the matter is that Proverbs 27, 17, iron sharpens iron. So, can I ask you this question? Who is, who is helping you to supervise that, that process? Who is watching over your back? Who is praying over your life? Who is checking up your prayer life? Who are you accountable to for your thoughts? Who are you accountable to for your actions? Who are you accountable to for your fall? Who is speaking you up after your fall? Or you are just struggling to get up yourself. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 10. Paul said to Timothy, you know my life. You know my life. You know my teaching. You know my patience. You know my affliction. So, Paul has brought Timothy under him as to model to him what a good spiritual life should be. Who is modeling to you what, what a sound spiritual life is? Who is helping you to check your daily devotion? For every man who wants to be serious in this auditorium, you must have somebody checking up on you. You must have somebody watching your back. You must have somebody superintending over you. Sunday service is not enough. Don't just hide in the crowd. I'm giving you an honest counsel. If you see anybody today that is mighty for God, if you see somebody who is effective for God today, somebody has helped him down the line to get to that point. Am I correct? Excuse me. To become a doctor, somebody else has to superintend over you. Am I correct? To become a lawyer, somebody else has to superintend over your life. Am I correct? So if men out there know the process of life on life, life reproducing life, how much more in the kingdom? I'm praying that prayerfully, you must have the commitment of the will to submit to somebody that you trust their judgment. And can I say this to you? Submitting to somebody is not foolishness, it's wisdom. For as long as you are submitting to qualified people, the people you trust their judgment, the people you trust their life, the people you trust their teaching. Number four, I'm talking about what are the...